What's up everybody? I just wanted to pop on here really quickly and show you a really cool accessory from the fam over at Tallard. It is a module for those of you that want Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Look no further. Check it out. Now the CarPlay module is going to come in this packaging and as we work our way to the back side it's going to have all of the specs and it's also Android Auto compatible. And as we open up the box, this is what the module is going to look like. Pretty cool, sleek design. I did not remove the plastic from the front as I'm going to be giving this module away on my Instagram. If you guys want to go check that out. I like a little cube on the back that's pretty cool. Nice, small, compact. This is also going to come with a USB to a USB-C cord and also a USB-C to USB-C cord which I use to attach to my Tesla Model 3. Also an instruction manual with of course 17,500 different languages. So here we are, um, USB-C to USB-C has been attached to the CarPlay module and I have plugged that into the ports inside of my center console. After that is connected, you should see some green lights on the module to signify a proper connection. Then you're going to go to your network settings on your home screen, click Auto Kit, and type in the corresponding password given in the instruction manual. Now you'll give that one second to load up and connect to the corresponding network. Once you have your green check mark, you're fully connected. From there, you're going to want to go back into your network settings, click the Auto Kit Network, and check the box where it says Remain Connected and Drive. From there, you're going to want to go to the web browser, type in tespush.com, T E S P U S H.com. And that should bring you to the main web page and in a couple of seconds it will connect and you now have Apple CarPlay in your Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y. From here you're going to have all of your corresponding Apple CarPlay apps. Um, click this auto app to go to the tespush.com homepage and you can change a variety of settings from there. But other than that guys, this is your typical Apple CarPlay setup. If you're missing that in your Tesla, you now have access to that to give you a little more customization to your ride. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you liked and enjoyed this. I also, as usual, have a code for you guys. I will be putting that in the description below. But until next time, be blessed, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.